If you ever worry about the future of America, turns out there's no need. It's in good hands. A high school student named Angela is proof of that, and we think you'll agree she's nothing short of amazing. Steve Hartman met her on the road. Born to Chinese immigrants, 17-year-old Angela Zhang of Cupertino, California, is a typical American teenager. Every girl needs boots. <laughs> She's really into shoes and just learning how to drive. Now straighten it out. Oh. It's going to go into that pole. Sorry. <laughs> but there is one thing that separates Angela from every other student at Monte Vista High School, something she first shared with her chemistry teacher, Kavita Gupta. Okay, so are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> it's okay. a research paper Angela wrote in her spare time. And it is advanced, to say the least. It was freshly prepared and directly used with the IOGNPs. Above equation was What is she saying? I have no idea. <laughs> Kavita says all she knows is it's a recipe for curing cancer. Cure for cancer? Cure for cancer, a high school student. So it's just so mind boggling. I mean, I just cannot even begin to comprehend how she even thought about it or did this. I just thought, um, why not? <laughs> I mean, what, what, what is there to lose, so? So, when she was a freshman, she started reading doctorate-level papers on bioengineering. How do you begin to understand it? At first, it was a little bit overwhelming, but I found that it almost became like a puzzle, being able to, like, decode something. By sophomore year, she talked her way into the lab at Stanford. And by junior year, was doing her own research try to make it for a feeble mind, such as this one, to understand. Okay, so I made something that's um, an iron oxide gold damper. No, you lost me, you lost me. Um, <laughs> Eventually, no, that's okay. Go ahead. here's what I did get. Angela's idea was to mix cancer medicine in a polymer that would attach to these nanoparticles, nanoparticles that would then attach to cancer cells and show up on an MRI so doctors could see exactly where the tumors are. Then she thought, what if you aimed an infrared light at the tumors to melt the polymer and release the medicine, thus killing the cancer cells while leaving healthy cells completely unharmed? I think it was more of a, this is really cool, I want to see if it works type thing. And when you found out it did? That was pretty amazing. I can't imagine. It'll take years to know if it works in humans, but in mice, the tumors almost completely disappeared. To gain a lot of knowledge of Angela recently entered her project in the National Semen Science Contest. It was no contest. She got a check for $100,000 and promptly bought about a dozen more pairs of shoes. I got these shoes because they're purple and I didn't have purple yet. Easy to forget, she is still in high school. It's just her dreams that keep graduating. I'm excited to learn just everything possible, everything in the sciences, biology, chemistry, physics, engineering, even computer science to make new innovations possible. Pretty big flats to fill. How will she top her cancer discovery? We can't wait. Steve Hartman, On the Road, in Cupertino, California.